So we you heard, actually heard the gunshots? And, of course. Wow. And then we were sitting. Um, they were like, how I say, they want to protect us, like not to escape or not to leave. They want to capture us. And the, so the move was on the one of the area where the army was around and we were surrounded. You were surrounded, right. yes. They around you guys up, basically. Yeah. So it's crazy because if you watch the movie, there's a scene in the movie where they show all the women and then you could hear the gunshots. And basically all the men were being completely massacred. So you actually lived the scene in the movie. Right. Wow. So Can you when, remind us of that old movie? Uh, I don't want to mess it up, but I believe it's the land of golden honey. But we'll, we'll, we'll get the, the exact title and we'll leave it in the, in the, in the description. Uh, but I believe it's called The Land of Golden Honey, and it was uh, directed by Angelina Jolie. Um, so you actually lived the scene, and you watched the movie, yeah. correct? I started watching the movie, but you probably, I, was, yeah, yeah. I was not Stupid. able, but I heard uh, people that were watching that was really, really uh, emotional. Yeah. Um, I live to my country. Like I say, that movie was created in Srebrenica, which she was... Uh, I'll hear the story of somebody in Srebrenica or she created a movie and she was there and um, but she now we was different part of the Bosnia but whatever happened in Srebrenica it, the worst happened in Srebrenica but happens into us yeah. but the, in the like I said before we was first in Srebrenica yeah. I don't think there's any, it's it's still horrible uh, in both areas. Exactly. Yeah. So when you when you were captured, what happened next? Then the start dividing, like I said, man. Uh, so, and they make us walk. And we was, actually, I was walking. There's dead, dead bodies left and right. Everywhere. Um, so, and... We was exhausted, so then they decide to put us in the bus and transporting us to the one of the schools, which was elementary school or middle school, I can call, as um, the building. And they put us there, and um, mothers, children, elderly, old people, handicapped, we was all like on the top on each other there. Just so piled there. just piled it and just they have a army watching us like like a prisoners. We cannot move, we cannot go nowhere, whatever we have there. So we was there and no food, nothing. The basically people survive whatever they can get. So uh, I was telling my part of the country where I go, grew up country, there was people still at home. So the, those people will bring some food and sneak in to we survive with the kids. Wow. And then uh, divided the next to our place was also man's little prison. They okay. captured them and kept them there. So every night was survival yeah so so you basically had people that were still in the towns coming in and sneaking in or risking their lives to bring you guys food to be able to survive of course and they segregated the women and children from the men in two different different places right so how long did you spend in that that camp i spent there uh a week and there and there's the legacy go and the houses which is empty around convention camp to like take a shower or get some clothes and I pull hold my family and everybody in the house and we was like 30 people and one house sleeping wow. there and it was better to sleep in that house it was also part of the you cannot go nowhere it's more like a, being in prison yeah. but actually you're not sleeping on the top of each other and sleeping on the cement or tiles. Yeah. You're sleeping in the uh, carpet yeah. or 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 maybe bed if you have. Yeah. So we was there um for another week or so, 
And then we was back and convention camp. We was back to the behind the wires again. So they let you off for a week? Yeah, we, the leg is off because just be, it gets crowded oh. and uh, they don't have a space. So they offer us, they're not, how I can explain, it's not the leg is out. We just ask, can we go to that house instead of being here and uh, just hold, you know, we are there. We're not going to escape, but just leg us to split up because it was so much that you can't. Pandemic starts. We don't have a bathrooms. Yeah, we don't yeah. have um, uh, um, uh, blankets. We don't have a uh, clothes. We don't have nothing. The conditions were basically becoming. It gets worse. Exactly. Yeah. 